Inequity within education is a major challenge, especially now for our state here in Colorado. Luckily though, this major challenge for young people is being tackled by the young people who are feeling it the most. And we're here to interview them to talk about how they're getting organized to take it on and overcome it through their group called Equal. Mateen and Lydia, welcome back to COCO. You're both here with the organization that is youth-led and it's all about supporting youth issues within homelessness and poverty, and it's called Equal. Mateen, let's start with you. Tell us what Equal's all about. Yeah, well, first, thank you so much for having us on the show again. We love being on. But yeah, Equal is a 501c3 youth-led nonprofit, and we have the mission of leveling the playing field for students in poverty. A recent study showed that over 22,000 students are experiencing homelessness right here in Colorado. So we as young people said we're going to make a difference and work to mitigate the effects of poverty and education for these students. So we believe that every student has an equal opportunity in education. And before I hand it off to Lydia to share more about our programs, we have a little video that can show you what we do. Did you know that 12.9 million students in our national public school system are living in poverty? and that 1.3 million of those students are experiencing homelessness? No, neither did I. How could you possibly know about something when nobody ever talks about it? Imagine how challenging it is to choose between finding a place to spend the night or finishing your homework. And yet, millions of kids do it every single day. That's pretty messed up. So, we decided to do something about it. After months of research with experts and educators in the field, we decided to start Equal, a youth-led nonprofit dedicated to leveling the playing field for students in poverty. Because the quality of your education shouldn't have anything to do with the size of your bank account. Providing direct resources to help students in need is critical, but so is starting meaningful conversations surrounding student poverty and homelessness, and we need your support to build a nationwide network of chapters to help students every step of the way. From providing basic classroom supplies to students in low-income school districts. To covering the costs that come with public education for low-income students at all grade levels. And even financing scholarships so students in need can pursue higher education and further their academic career. Did you know that one in three college students are going hungry? Probably not, because many college students aren't comfortable self-identifying as in need. It can be scary to admit you're struggling. That's why Equal, through social awareness campaigns and advocacy, is breaking the stigma surrounding student poverty and homelessness. Students in need should never be afraid to ask for help, and success in school should not be dependent on your income bracket. Every student has the right to an equal education, and at Equal, we believe that young people must take the lead in making a more inclusive, empathetic, and equitable environment for students in need. We need a youth like you to join us in supporting those in need and breaking the stigma. Get involved. Start a chapter. Start a conversation. Or donate today. To make a difference. We are equal. And together, we are rewriting the story of poverty in education. Visit equal.org to learn more. So Lydia, that video shares a lot about what you guys stand for. I understand that you've got two specific ways that you're working to end poverty and homelessness with youth, inform and perform. Let's talk about those. Yeah, so the issue of homelessness and poverty in education is pretty multifaceted. So our goal is to create as comprehensive of a solution um, as possible. So perform, like you said, is more the direct programming. So our goal is to provide the resources that students need to succeed in their education and this looks like our scholarship awards program, which awards scholars for youth experiencing homelessness or poverty so that they can earn their associate's degree. And we also have two other programs that are in the pilot needs stage, our Equal Experience Fund and our Classroom Supply Bank. And then INFORM is more about the societal awareness and challenging the stereotypes and stigmas around student poverty and homelessness. And so we're doing this through social campaigns uh, about the issues and just about the challenges that these students face. Gosh, and I bet they're amplified as we go through the coronavirus pandemic. Mateen, let's talk about what it's like to be a part of a youth-led nonprofit in a pandemic. Yes. Well, it's been certainly very interesting, but first I'll touch on the youth-led part. I mean, we are an all-youth-led nonprofit organization, which 
what that means is everything from our program development to our leadership, it's happening all by young people. So basically teens like Lydia and I across the state join equal and they're learning valuable skills and leadership and fundraising and communication that they're going to use for the rest of their life. But on top of that, they're all passionate because they know that it's their peers who are struggling. So they want to help make that difference. And right now we do everything pretty much virtually, which is really cool because of coronavirus. But if anyone watching, if you're a parent and you think you have a child who would be interested in joining our organization, or if you're watching as a team and we want to join, we'd love to have you. So reach out to us directly at Equal Nonprofit on social media. And uh, we want more young people to join in our program. So we'd love to have anyone. Yeah, it's impressive that it's youth led. I often forget that you're both teenagers and we're talking to adults running an organization. But <laughs> Lydia, how can we get involved with Equal? What's the best way to get that process started? Yeah, so right now, the best way you can get involved is by connecting with us on social media. We have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And even if you want the more business professional side, we also have a LinkedIn account. So um, you can find us on there. Go ahead and give us a follow. Um, if you want to learn more about our programming and just how you can get involved with joining the team, you can visit our website at www.equal.org. Um, and even if you want to join the team, you can find some applications on there as we have some positions opening up in the near future. Yep. No excuse not to get involved. And Mateen, last question to you. You know, This is a topic that isn't for the faint of heart. What keeps you going in this world? Yeah, I think um, for me personally, and I think for Lydia probably as well, it's just meeting the students that we're supporting. Um, you know, all of these teens are just like us. They just don't have the same privilege that we have had growing up. And it's not fair that they're not getting that same opportunity in education. So seeing those students, what they're passionate about, what they want to do in the world, and just giving them that chance is so incredibly important. And I think it really motivates everyone on the team to keep going and to keep advocating for these students uh, for a better future for everyone. Join the movement in Colorado to end inequities in education. Connect with this youth-run nonprofit on social media via Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Learn more online, equal.org. That's equal with two E's, dot O-R-G.